Hello everyone, welcome back to Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark. I'm Luke, and this time I am joined by why gosh, who are these two rap scallions? Why who's that in the in the fancy shirts? I have to be more specific. Who's Mike? Ah, it's me, Barnaby, uh, the butcher. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Fortescue, yes. Mm, the third. And Jane is here also. Jane, remind us who your Blades character is. I'll be playing Zilla Bruzal, who is uh, a cutter, a hitter, but a cutter, technically, in the parlance of Blades in the Dark. Yeah, cutting is frowned upon, um, but not completely illegal in prize fighting. Well, that's that, yeah, that's canon now. Um, all right, uh, are you both are you both ready to, to kick off to begin uh, mm, a, yes. a new Blades escapade? I had a marvelous lunch at the club earlier, so I'm <laughs> ready to go. Yes, some chap okay. came over actually and offered me a wager to to circumnavigate the globe in in 80 days. <laughs> so so you'll be leaving then? No, no, <laughs> no. I I didn't soon. I didn't take it up. It sounded far too difficult. <laughs> I love the idea of being offered a wager to circumnavigate the globe and being like, no. That's too, <laughs> you know what? It's too hard. Yeah. I don't have 80 days. I'm busy. Mm, very, very busy man. After the meal I just ate? No way. <laughs> I'm going to need a nap. <laughs> right. Okay. So we begin with Barnaby and Zilla. Uh, you're actually out shopping in night market you've headed to the actual food market in night market uh, because there is no food in in eleanor's largely legal antiques in the back room where you've been conducting your business edward used all the milk didn't replace it <laughs> yes well classic and and be exactly because of that you're out buying groceries maybe mm. maybe zilla you've resolved to force barnaby to learn to cook at least something mm. oh yeah you have to be able to cook at least one thing normally i have people one to do that for me Okay. Yeah. Well, where are they now, Barnaby? Mm, back home, yes. Mm. Exactly, back home. Uh, so that's where we find you. You're sort of browsing the fruits and, and veg and stuff in this in this crowded market. Uh, when all of a sudden, Barnaby, you feel uh, you, you feel a sort of tug at, at your at your cloak, and um, sat on the ground, there's a there's a woman in a in a, in a very ragged shawl who looks up and says, um, "Excuse me, sir. Might you have any spare change?" Mm. No, sorry. You caught me without any spare change whatsoever. Just my fancy coat. Very well, sir. Well, thank you. Have a good day and, and God's preserve. And then she catches sight of you, Zilla, and goes, My God. Zilla? Is that you? She springs to her feet and pulls back her hood. And Zilla, you do indeed recognise Daphne Bowman, a.k.a. Bricks, a prize fighter. A colleague and peer from your back from your prize fighting days. Wow! Hey, Bricks. Silla. How are you doing? I thought I'd never um, see you again. And she gives you a massive hug. Sorry, I'm just I'm just mentally recasting her from the Dickensian infant that I originally <laughs> imagined. Okay, let me just recast her. Okay, there we go. And right, we're yes. done. Yeah. And, and we're, we're done. done. I'm I'm doing fine obviously out of the business uh, how about you what, what are you doing here why are you falling on hard times i thought you were still in the biz still prize fighting well you thought wrong uh, her sort of dickensian voice has slightly dropped away at this point and the in-universe reason for that is that while she was begging it actually um behooved her to sound a little bit more like a dickensian orphan child um, but that's but that's not what we're dealing with. She's got sort of like a um, like slightly scraggly, unkempt kind of blonde hair, slight build, medium height. Uh, she looks like she could use a hot meal, Zilla, but she's still as wiry and strong as you remember her from from the fighting days. And she says, um, "He fired me. He fired me. Cross. He got rid of me. I got injured, and that was it. I was out." Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. That's, I can't even uh... make a fist. She holds up one hand and can't make a fist <laughs> oh no that is bad you do need one of those at least one this Preferably one's fine two. okay okay well that's something um but not for you you're out is it out completely well not voluntarily but you know what cross is like one slip one injury and you're out that bastard she's referring to cross colburn uh, a local manager fight organizer who you know zilla um, runs and operates out of a fighting pit down by the docks called the Splintered Bone. And Cross Colburn has a, a, you know, a fairly significant roster of, of fighters, but obviously seems to have uh, seems to have let seems to have let Daphne go, um, having having sustained this injury that means she can't fight anymore. Well, I'm sorry to hear it, Daphne. That's rough. 
It's all right. It's going to be fine. Do you want to know why? I don't know. Do I want to know why? I don't think we do want to know why. She no, go on, Daphne. She grabs I do want you, to know why. grabs you both, and sort of seizes you into a huddle. Um, you both feel her terrific and surprising strength as she does this. Because I'm going to get the bastard back. Right. Go I'm on. going to rob him. Huh. Okay. This time tomorrow, I'll be heading out of town. I'll be on a steamer somewhere nice, somewhere fancy, and I'll have a great deal of his money. And he does have a great deal of money, being a being he a wealthy does. promoter, manager type. He does. And he's about to have more. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you know what tonight is, don't you? Go on. I search my memory. Zilla, with a shock, you remember, of course. Has it really been a year since the Splintered Bone Annual Festival of Fights... It's the largest showcase of the year. It's a whole night of fights during which anyone can challenge Cross Colburn's roster of prize fighters with enormous prize money on offer to those who do successfully beat his stable of champions. And Daphne looks at you and she says, Daphne explains all this to you, Barnaby, maybe, um, because you're, yes. you're unaware, and says, uh, but that's not even the real prize. The prize money's one thing, but the real prize is the takings. He makes most of most of his betting money for the whole year this one night the mm. takings are enormous if we can oh sorry did I say we you did you did oh. yes but I I've got the feeling you're about to correct yourself well the thing is it might be helpful to have a few hands along mm, what's in it for us I don't M- do well with being hit in the face M- money, uh, I imagine. But money is in it for us. Mm, I mean, but how much? <laughs> Barnaby, she puts an arm around you and looks at you, Zilla, and goes, I like this one. And she does that sort of like mock kind of punching thing, like, like that. I'll be honest. And it's really painful. Yeah, Daphne, Barnaby, it, if I'd known hurts. how easy it would be for you to kill me, I probably would have given you the money in the first place. <laughs> just so you know. Look, just because I'm a prize fighter doesn't mean I'm a, I'm a violent, aggressive person. Just look at Zilla. I've never met anyone friendlier, anyone more calm and peaceable. And boy, can I'm, she kill easily. I'm terrified of her, if I'm honest. Well, so you should be. So you should be. Anyway, look. I can see, uh... I can see myself clear to... And not that I would have any trouble getting the entire takings by myself, but if you, if you did insist on coming along, I could see myself splitting it 50-50. Hmm. Fifty percent split being it mine. Three ways. No, three ways. If there's three of us, split it three ways. Ah, Zilla, you. Oh, oh, she Daphne. now she grabs you. And just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three we ways. Just punch of, each, we just punch each other for a while. Yeah, yeah. You just just lightly, just just yeah. to like. Uh, I'm frightened it. like a toddler when their yeah. parents are play fighting. I'm like, is this is this <laughs> going to escalate at all? I'm slightly worried. Uh, yeah, to, um, it's to you, Zilla, and to Daphne, it's clearly play fighting. But um, to you, um, Barnaby, this is the this is the most intense bit of physical combat you've perhaps ever witnessed. Um, <laughs> it's it's extremely acrobatic. <laughs> there's like there's running up walls, kicks. there's headlocks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at one point, someone crashes through a market stall, um, and there's. But, it, but it's all right. It, it, it yeah. is, in fact, all in fun. Yeah. And, right, um, I'm dusting myself off. And <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like you've got a plan then, Daphne. I mean, you must have thought about this. You're not just you're not just winging it. I've thought about nothing else. Okay. Here's the plan. Oh, well, let's hear it. We go there on the night of the Festival of Fights, which is tonight. Got it. That's part one. Yeah. Part two. Part one, stored away. Part one, stored it. No need to write it down. You'll remember. Oh, I think I can handle part one. Go mm-hmm. there. Tonight, part part two. Yes. Get the money. You've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. I think I've got it. Well, I know where it's kept. I'll just okay. go get it. Right. And where is it kept? Well, on the night of, all the bets are, uh, are, are kept at the, at the betting desk. You know, then later, after closing time, when everything's been you know, paid out again to those customers who, who did win... Obviously, at that point, the take goes down, and I become less interested. And what's left is put away in, in, uh, in Colburn's big safe in his office. And then, well, then I can't get at it. So I'm going to get it when there's the most money, right near the end of the night. So we're robbing everyone in the place. I never really much. thought about it like that. The house always wins. But yes, I suppose we are. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I don't have any moral problem with that. I'm just, just 
you know, wanted to clarify. Do you have any moral problem with it, Zilla? Yes, but I do want the money. Uh, and also, I'm no great fan of Cross Colburn, so... Uh... No, you know him to be a horrible uh, and exceptionally ruthless um, promoter. Yeah, in fact, I never I never did get level with him in the end, so... Uh... So yeah, I'm in it for that, but also I don't think this is a very good plan. I think we're definitely splitting it three ways because that's that's a terrible plan, if I may say so, Daphne. It's uh, you haven't even considered security. What's the security like? Oh well, immense. I would have thought it's the biggest night of the year. The place is going to be yeah. packed. I yeah. would have thought. How are you going to do this solo, Daphne? Well, I thought one like once I oh hang on oh no thinking about it, I probably wouldn't be welcome, seeing as he did kick me out and we didn't end on good mm. terms. Mm-hmm. Oh, Zilla, I'm so glad you're in on this with me. This was lucky. This was lucky for you. This is fortuitous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, and we're just, uh, even luckier for you, we're just getting into the sort of, this sort of field, aren't we, Barnaby? Oh, yes, oh, yes. We're proper criminals now. He's, he's very keen. Mm. He does like announcing in public marketplaces that he is a criminal, but... Lovely yeah. crimes. We've been doing so many lovely crimes. Eventually, we'll train him out. Lovely crimes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, luckily, Barnaby, you are drowned out by the hubbub of the market. Your lovely crimes is just part of a, a general chorus of fresh fish. <laughs> lovely Forget. crimes. Yeah, <laughs> lovely crimes. In fact, an old lady walks past and goes, Did you say lovely crimes? How much? Uh, 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 limes, but we're out. We've just sold out. Oh, well, here's where you arrived. And here's me with a terrible case of scurvy. Mm, yes. Isn't that the luck? And she sort of. Hobbles off, teeth Hobbles falling off out. again. Yeah. <laughs> Hobbles off again, wounds opening up. Um, oh. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Truly is a grim city. <laughs> yeah. Just to let you know, we are getting close to performing the engagement role. Um, but I sense that possibly there might be a little bit more information gathering that you want to do. So that is part of the engagement role. If you have like allies, stuff like that, kind of obvious plan vectors, you also need to decide on what kind of score this is, how you're going in. Are you going in stealthily? Are you like barging in? Are you fighting your way in? Is it a social stealth situation? So some of this planning um, will come out as we do the engagement role is what I'm saying. Okay. okay. Uh, do you know anyone who still works for Cross? I know people in the space, not anyone who works directly for Cross, but um, I'm sure we could find out something or other about the security arrangements and uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's handle that later. Engagement roll time. Start with, here's your 1D for sheer luck. Mm-hmm. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Uh, is it particularly bold or daring? Always. When are you not going to get that done? Um, have a word with you. You said 1D and I was like, what's a D1? <laughs> it's just, okay, I guess on. it'd just be, well, no, it couldn't even just, be a coin, could it? It's just it's a, a one-dimensional object. written on a piece of <laughs> yeah. one-dimensional paper. Yeah. Have a word with yourself if you're doing a Blaze in the Dark score and you don't get the bold or daring dice. Or is it overly complex and contingent on many factors? Nah. I mean, Daphne's made it quite clear. You go in and get the money. Does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? Does it? Well, we don't know yet, is the thing. I think we're hitting them where they're strongest, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, I suppose that's where the bold and daring bit comes in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Oh, yeah. I've got loads of friends in the, in the space. Do okay. I need to tell you specifically? You might even yeah, find, presumably, that uh, you know some of the people who were hired for security for that night, who aren't necessarily Maybe the prize fighters. There's, there's a bit of an overlap, mm. in fact, between former prize fighters and, and current security. current security hired muscle. Uh, I have a close friend, according to my uh, my character sheet, my playbook, um, Marlene, a pugilist, who is a a somewhat successful prize fighter who will be fighting on the night of the. FOF, the Festival of Fights. Nice. Uh, tell me this, is Marlene part of Cross Colburn's roster of combatants or is she a, or will she be competing against them for the for prize taking? She's a, she's a contender. She will be, she's a, not a freelancer, but from a different stable, I think. Brilliant. They'll have put that on the poster for sure. Marlene, fantastic. Is there anything else, any other business from, from either of you, Barnaby or Zilla? Nothing for the moment. It's not really the circles I move in, to be honest. Well, in that case, uh, I suppose the last part of planning that we will do not in retrospect is how are you going in? Well, what are the options? The options are assault, do violence to a target, 
Deception. Do, do violence. <laughs> no. No, no carry not, on. not the carry face. On. And again, this isn't. This doesn't determine the whole thing. This is just like the immediate, the yeah. like moment one. What's happening? Deception, lure, trick, or manipulate. Stealth, trespass unseen. Occult, engage a supernatural power. Social, negotiate, bargain, or persuade, or transport, carry cargo or people through danger. To me, it feels like a, a stealth thing. I'm not. I don't think my social skills are going to be an awful lot of help, at least initially, but there will be a large crowd which we can slip through, probably unseen. Also, I think there'll be a, there'll be a, a fair few poshos in the crowd. You know, everyone everyone from oh, Bolisport yes. enjoys mm. a Watching bit of prize fighting. people fight, yeah. Slumming yeah. it, thank you. Now there'll that you mentioned it, there of... might be some of my chums there, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it could be a really fun night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So plenty of the upper crust, gambling, watching the, the paws fight each other, uh, etc. Mm, exactly. It's, you know... The exactly. Sport of Kings. Uh, I think we should go in, yeah, in social stealth mode. Social stealth, as, trespass unseen. As, uh, yeah, as observers, as spectators. And then we'll be in the building already with a, with a good excuse for being there. I will now make the engagement roll and we'll see how that goes. Three dice. Hook. Oh, amazing. That is two fives and a six. Nice. <laughs> wow. Thank you, dice. Tremendous. Okay, smash cut two. You have slipped past the security on the door. They were only looking for obvious weapons. Zilla, you're quite a big deal on this scene, right? So presumably you are, if you're kind of going incognito, you've got like a hood up or, or something or a hat. <laughs> hmm. Fake hmm. beard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's keep a lid on it for now. Um, yeah, I've got uh, just a massive cloak. Yeah, big big old hat cloak big hat <laughs> big hat and cloak big... uh, oh and um little like little old-fashioned sunglasses mm. like gary oldman, yeah, gary oldman sunglasses. And Dracula, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little round sunglasses yeah okay great um <laughs> i look very conspicuous but it's not obvious who i am hiding in plain sight I mean. mm. let's do um <laughs> yeah. and daphne i suppose has also got a let's say a matching hat glasses and cloak deal <laughs> sure why not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and uh loads remind me what everyone's load is barnaby and zilla how are you going well, normally i'd be carrying just like a giant sack of weapons and gear but i don't think they'd have let me through the front door with that no. so uh it's gonna have to be light today i think okay barnaby light as per light always always light okay so the splintered bone um is basically um underground literally um, in, in every sense, it is an underground um, fighting pit. There's an entrance under underneath a, an archway, a brick archway. We're down by the docks, remember? Uh, you can sort of smell uh, the very distinctive and not especially pleasant stench of the docks coming in. And as you pass the security and, and go through the door, you are at the top of a staircase that leads down to another door, and that's basically the main entrance. You, there is a, you can hear the sort of noise and the cheering, uh, like even even from from this distance, from the top of the stairs, and ahead of you, there's a, a woman who sits behind a, a ticket desk. How many? Um, yes, one regular ticket and one VIP ticket, please. VIP? Yes, please. Yeah. Where is the VIP area? Well, uh, sir, let me see the coin first. Fine. It's two I, coin for a VIP ticket. I I buy the both the tickets. <laughs> oh, three, three, one for one for Daphne and back. Oh yes, I always forget about Daphne. One for her as well. I was going to say, I wouldn't have thought a nice uh, fancy fellow like you would be trying to swindle me that early doors. She... It's ribbons. It's ribbons. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Barnaby, you get a little um, like blue ribbon tied around your wrist. Zilla and Daphne, yeah, you get like little red, uh, little red ribbons. My security, you understand. Can't be too careful. Uh, but Sir understands that they won't be allowed to accompany you into the VIP area unless they themselves want to buy tickets. No, but I'm not expecting the other VIPs to rob me, am I? So, you know. <laughs> you haven't met our VIPs, sir. Go down. Um, and, yeah, you are you are now able to proceed down the stairs, which I'm just going to go ahead and assume you do. We open onto a huge room. Um, Zilla, you've been here before, probably. Um, many times. Many times. Taking up a huge amount of space in the centre of this big square room is the fighting stage, the, the, the sort of cage ring, uh, sort of hybrid where the actual fighting begins. There's a fight in progress, two fighters like knocking seven bells out of each other. The smell coming off this crowd and this room, it is so sweaty. You know, like you go to a gig and it's just, it hits you like a wave, that kind of humidity. Humanity in all of its vibrant sweatiness, that's what you're experiencing here. Barnaby, over on your left, 
there is a raised seating area uh, mm. where you can tell immediately just by the, the, the clothes and the loud braying fancy laughter <laughs> you can tell that that's where the VIP area is to your right there's a bar and that's all you can see from this point here because it is quite crowded. Are we going to uh, perhaps um, survey the the scene and see if the uh, we can work out exactly where the sort of betting station is or where the office where that stuff might be collected? Can yeah, I, do, I can reckon. Can I do a survey roll? Is that? Can we like mingle and move all through the crowd and mm-hmm. look for look for what's what? Yeah, go for it. Why don't you both both make me a, um, a survey roll? Okay. I have one dot in survey. Nice. I got two. Nice. Oh, it's a six. That is a six. Three and a one. <laughs> <laughs> you split up. Um, Barnaby, you head right. Zilla and Daphne, you head left. Barnaby, adjoining the bar, you can see uh, there is a metal grill uh, against one wall with a with a hole in it like a window in it and above there is there is a, a sign in that says bets taking all bets and there are chalkboards all down kind of like the the back wall of this like little uh, caged off area mm-hmm. um, that have odds on them uh, for like upcoming fights there uh, there's a man uh, stood there taking bets and there's another there's another man in there as well who's kind of like getting up he's like watching the fight as it unfolds he's kind of like changing odds for sort of upcoming upcoming bouts and mm-hmm. th- that sort of thing that's all you can see for now but you have found it Zilla and mm-hmm. Daphne you spread left and you sort of push into the crowd as you go your uh, long cloak gets caught on uh, oh. gets caught underfoot <laughs> Uh, in the tram, it, actually, what happens is one of the fighters gets sort of knocked so hard against the cage wall uh-huh. of the ring that the people who were stood at that point actually back up in in fright. Uh. And in the stumble, your cloak comes down. Someone turns around to to say, "Oh, I'm so, oh my God, is that Zilla? Zilla Brousseau? Is All that right. you? Oh my right. gosh, I'm an enormous fan." <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I just um, oh my gosh, um, and he 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 grabs the people he's with and he's like Zilla, Zilla, Zilla's it. We we heard you we heard you'd quit is all. The ripple starts going out through the crowd that oh, um, no. that Zilla Zilla all is right. here. Hey, <laughs> hey, hi, hi, yeah. It's all right. Will you be uh, bl- you are you here to fight? No, no, no. You heard right. I'm out. I'm out of the business. I'm afraid. Oh, so pre- appreciate appreciate it but uh it's not for me anymore someone next to this man heard the words zilla and fight and also leans in and goes do you say he was going to fight no no i don't do that i don't do that i'm a i'm a i'm a um school teacher now (laughs) school teacher (laughs) yeah what do you teach uh needlepoint needlepoint yeah that's hilarious Oh man, that's funny. Um, right, <laughs> okay. This kind of thrill uh, of of Zilla presence kind of races through uh, the assembled crowd as you now move around, kind of like uh, Zilla and Daphne. Daphne's still incognito. I guess you're pulling a lot of focus, uh-huh. um, but yeah, a lot of eyes are following you around the room at this point. Oh great, good, great, going, going good, <laughs> going well. Okay, well, um, can we flash back? I think we better, yeah. I think we ought to. I think we ought to. It's going, it's going terribly here in the present. Maybe it went better in <laughs> Let's the past. Let's retreat to the safety of the past. <laughs> retreat. All right, all right. I retreat to the past where I was asking around town earlier that day. What's the uh, what's the security arrangement like at at Festival of Fights? How many hired muscle types do they have? Do I know any of them? Who's on? Who's who's around and about? Um, I tell you what, no stress for that, but make me a consort. Well, make me whatever role you think is appropriate, Zilla. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, I got, I've got nothing. I've got nothing in consort. Well, Phil, you could push yourself. I could, but yeah, I push myself. I push myself. Do it. To consort with my former friends and and frenemies yep. in the world of Volusport prize fighting. Cool. So that, does that mean I get how, what do I get for pushing myself? Um, what you get is to take two stress and you add one dice. So if you had no dots you can now roll one d6. I get one yep. dice. She sounded Such like a, a worse worst deal. Yep. For two stress. That's a terrible yep. a terrible deal. Yep. Uh, oh it's a two. 
Ooh, so. okay. It's no not, worries. Not um, it's bad. It's pretty bad. It's not much better here in the past. It is actually. It's not a. It's not a total write-off. Let's say you you go around to kind of like try and hit up these old friends and stuff, but it, you actually have a hard time finding them because everyone is at home, like limbering up, getting ready for the festival of fights. They're, they're or they're out, kind of you know pre-gaming, kind of pre-drinking or stuff, and you're not able in the time to kind of get in. <sighs> figure out exactly where they are oh, but but there is information that you already have from from being in this world you yes. you know that uh cross colburn has a roster of fighters the primo highest tier fighters uh, are you know actually part of the lineup they are taking all comers in in a series of bouts mm. but you know that there's a sort of lower tier of aspiring combatants who basically uh, Cross Colburn keeps around for basically no pay on the never never promise that one day they might be called up to, to the big leagues and that they do a lot of odd jobs around the place primarily security so mm -hmm. the security here is is likely to be and indeed is kind of up and coming fighters okay good I can work with that all right, are we back in the present? The horrible present? <laughs> yeah, you flash back to the horrible present. <laughs> the horrible present. Let's go party. Shall I float back over, given that I probably spotted a bit of commotion going on and, and kind of wandered over to see what it was um, and see that it is, in fact, Zilla. You have, it, you have a hard time getting up to up to Zilla because there's a, there's a, 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 a fan showing her a Zilla tattoo. Um, <laughs> it's good. Is that supposed to be your face? <laughs> 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 it doesn't look much like you, fortunately. I don't know this guy. So he's not a friend of yours? No, no, do what you like. So you won't mind if I deck him for insulting my beautiful... <laughs> hold on, ink. hold on, let's not be too... It's a lovely tattoo, very, very... Uh, very I know! Artistic, yes. Yeah, sorry, I, at first I've had a lot to drink and it, at first glance I, I just I thought it was something else. My mistake. He's got a VIP rib and he's probably more trouble than he's worth. So. Good point. <laughs> and he's lucky he has that. If I catch you outside afterwards, mate. Ooh, there's no VIP section out in the streets. Well, you know, I could call a carriage, which is sort of like the version of a VIP area. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I think I feel like you're missing the point. Mm. Mm. People say that. I about withdraw me. backwards into the crowd, <laughs> <laughs> trying to blend in again. This bloke does sort of he lumbers off. Um, <laughs> okay, good, good. Glaring at you, well, Barnaby. People here are so rude. Don't you think they're so rude? No, that's no. That this is this is this is it. Isn't this what you wanted? Didn't you want to be a, a well, butcher or something? I was. I was hoping not to actually taste the sweat of the poor in the air. <laughs> so you wanted to be a nice, polite, sanitised butcher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I mean, I I wouldn't go to a butcher that, that didn't sanitise things. Okay. Be dreadful. Fine. Anyway. Right, is... So where whereabouts is Cross anyway? Is he around? You know? I thought you might know. You were looking around. What did you see? I saw the betting area. It's behind a cage. Yeah. So we'll have to, okay. you know, go around the back probably or something. Also, is there a security room? You know, like a room for the, the security folk. Where they're watching nothing on monitors that haven't well, been invented. Well, do they get breaks? You know, I was told that, uh, I was told that staff get breaks, apparently. I mean, there'll be a backstage area. There'll definitely be a backstage area. Right. That's probably all, you know, security and, and fighters preparing to, to come on and that kind of thing. There is indeed. <laughs> Zilla, you've been in there before, you know, I guess at points in your life, probably. Yeah. It's on the opposite side to where you came in. Um, so, yeah, on the opposite wall. As you came in the door, ring, straight across from that, uh, there's okay. a sort of discreet door um, that has two security in front of it. And, okay. you, and you know from experience that that leads to a, a sort of green room where fighters okay. prepare. Why do you want to find out um, our friend Cross Colburn, though? Ideally, we'd be avoiding him as much as possible. Well, I just thought perhaps, you know, he might want to keep me on side if he thinks I've got a lot of money I might spend on betting. So oh. uh, he probably has a vested interest in keeping me happy. So maybe if I, you know, I'm interested oh, in see. seeing the fighters, seeing the backstage area, and you, you'd probably be welcome around there as well. He probably wants to sign you up. That's clever. I like that. You're angling for like the VVIP treatment mm. because you're a, you're a, uh, what do they call it? A whale. Uh, the whale. A whale, yes. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. Let's see about this Cross Colburn. Daphne, where do you think Cross might be right now, this time of night? Wherever he is, I'd like to get my hands on him and strangle the bastard. But in serious answer to your question, he will certainly be um, in probably in his office or in the green room. He announces each fight individually. Mm. Uh, you know, sort of comes out, does a bit of a show. But, um, I mean, there's one in progress at the moment. And it doesn't look like there's one to start due to start until, well, for another sort of half hour or so. So Okay. Yeah, Time for drink. What if... 
Sorry, no, you go. You've probably got more of a plan. Well, drink if you like, but also, what if you... Uh, how much uh, How much scratch you got on you right now? Uh, what, well, what are you carrying? Some pocket change, you know. Okay, mm. all right. What if you were to make a really, really extravagant bet? Maybe, Ooh. maybe you could draw him out, you know? Perhaps, yeah. Mm. Maybe if you demanded to see him because it was such an extravagant bet that you needed to... Well, I, to I, wonder whether I, I wonder whether I could float the idea of an extravagant bet in front of him and then wait until he, you know, gives me the VI, VVIP treatment and then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. afterwards I can probably put the bet on. Yeah, it's not a problem. Good, great. It's an investment, an investment in our yes. futures. I will as... need to know which of these two people is going to be killed, though. You know, what? So that I can put the right bet on the right person. You know, you, I need your knowledge. They do well, fight, to the, no they fight be... to the death, right? No? No! Oh. No! Mm. This is a semi-legitimate, partially underground sport in which ideally people don't die because they're in it. To, I've you know, got make completely ma- the wrong end of the stick. Well, I thought it was a blood sport, you know. Well, there is blood, but it's not a blood sport. Right, fine. So all these people survive. Really. They're all getting out alive. Um, hopefully, That's yeah. marvellous, marvellous. Okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah. All right, do you want to make a bet then? Well, I'll, let's let's find Cross. I'll, I'll say that I'm, I, you know, I'm considering putting a substantial amount down. They'll see my new fancy coat. I had to buy another coat uh, recently. This one's even oh, more yeah. expensive than the last one. Um, what, the one that got thrown off the roof? No, no, no. I had to, another coat after that, but then this one got ruined because I fell in the water. Yeah, I fell in the, oh. the dock. So that was ruined. So I had to buy a, a, a further, even more expensive Crime. coat. Yes, I've yeah, gone through okay. many, many coats. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, they'll see the coat. They'll realise that I'm very serious about the amount of money I have. Uh, and they'll probably arrange a meeting with Cross when he next rolls out for the, you know, the fighty announcey thing. Sound. Let's do it. Cool. Uh, so it sounds like we're heading to try and find Cross. Is that would that be right? Or at least one of his representatives. Yeah. No worries. Um, well, um, Daphne sort of sort of pipes up and is like, "This plan is great. I love it. Um, I probably shouldn't be seen with you if you're going to attempt it. As I say, we didn't part on the best terms. Yes. Um, so maybe I'll hang back. But as I say, he's bound to be through there. And she points okay. again to the to this cool. to this door with a live looking sort of security bloke um, in front. Front, stood in front of it. All right, well, we approach the security bloke. Sorry, employees only passed here. Does he recognise me? Zilla? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Miss Bruzo? So. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, obviously, you've heard I'm, I'm out of the game. I'm uh, I'm in retirement. <laughs> very much. A great no fighter really. never quits. Really, really. I am out of... Out of the biz, but oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I oh, obviously yeah. had to check out Festival of Fights. Yeah. I'm gonna come and see what's what. You've been uh, enjoying what yourself? I have, yeah. It's um, it's uh, sweaty, salty. It's everything I love about the scene. And uh, and I brought a friend. What do you think Hello. about Caro up there? Um, he, he points to, to the ring where uh, at Caro, one of the fighters. Um, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, uh, uh, I, uh he's... Um, only recently recovered from an injury, I heard. Yeah, oh yeah, nasty one, yeah, yeah. He's going to have to take it easy on, yeah, his that, knee. on that foot, on yeah. his knee, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I don't know, I don't know, normally I'd be Caro all the way, but uh, tonight I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Don't tell him I said that, obviously. No, 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 no. He's a it's good right. lad. It's all also, right. uh, she doesn't want to share too much information because uh, Zilla's actually advising me, I've, I'm going to put a few bets on, you know, I'm rather wealthy i don't know if you've seen the coat but um very yes, nice I, you look too sir thank you thank you it's very kind of you to say and you also are wearing some clothes so uh what i want basically is to just have a quick chat with mr cross when he's next available uh just to just to be confident that um you know this is a this is a fine upstanding establishment and that uh there'll be no funny business when i when i place my substantial bets sorry sir rules on nobody sees mr cross all bets are final Mm, yes, that's not going to work for me then. You know, I really, I don't want to put my money down until I've met the proprietor, and it's a lot of money. Look at the coat. I point well, to the coat. Yeah. Um. Well, he, he listen, sort of... listen, listen, friend. <sighs> yeah. You wouldn't want Cross Colburn to hear that you were the one that turned this guy away, Mister Moneybags here, because if he can't make his bet, we're out of here, and then you'll be in trouble, and you don't want that. I don't want that for you. No. So. I don't like. I'm not. I don't mean to threaten you, but also I do mean to threaten you. So I'm threatening you. <laughs> he 
He looks at you, Zilla, and goes, what would you do? Me? I'd let us buy. I would let us buy. Okay. I'm, yeah. Okay. All right. I guarantee it will be fine. I'm still new to this, Zilla. I just want to, I just want to get where you are one day. Ah, uh, you will. You will. This is exactly what I would have done. Okay. Your like you'll be excellent at punching people. <sighs> Thank you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> he spins around and punches the door he stood in front of uh, Brilliant. and it sort of reverberates with an enormous clang very good pretty very quick good. pretty quick what do you think of my form Zilla I tell you what I tell you what Mega Zeal you can go through if you give me a tip alright you need um, you need to fr- from the from the back hip you need to pa- drive it from the back hip yeah right yeah it's not from here it's from back here and then I I adjust his posture I like, turn him around and wiggle this and yeah now try now try punching the door frame or whatever it was you punched he throws a punch and um, now he sort of puts an enormous dent in the door there um, we go oh I'm in trouble no no oh it's alright we'll say mm-hmm. I'll say I did it I'll say I did it yeah cool I, I, I autograph <laughs> I autograph the hole in the wall <laughs> oh my gosh amazing no one's gonna believe this uh, yeah yeah go on to um, uh, yeah Mr Great. Cross he's probably not in his office right now he's probably in the he's probably in the green room with the fighters um, yeah right. he should he should be going out to announce the next bout any minute so you should just catch him yeah alright we saunter past mm-hmm. yeah scope um, out the can we do an, another cheeky scope out of the, the layout I mean actually Zilla probably knows the layout reasonably yeah I've been right? here I know the general area, but uh, yeah. yeah. Why, don't we, why don't we survey to see if anything's changed, if anything's notable. Something's mm-hmm. may have anything's changed, yeah. Exciting. I will do one of those. That's a one. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I got a one and a five. Right, so Zilla, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're now in a kind of like small, stubby corridor. Um, back here, everything is like a lot more sparse. It's just kind of like plain like brick and, and stuff. Basically, there's a door to your left and a door to your right. Um, the door to your left is, uh, you've never been in there, but you surmise that's probably where Colburn's office is, and to your mm. left is the, uh, green room aforementioned that you have been in before, um, you know, where fighters sort of, you know, train, there are some weights to lift and stuff like that. Alright, that's the office there. Should we swing by the green room first and check he's not in there? Sounds good All to right. me, yeah. Yeah. Just see who's around, see what's what. Uh, yeah, you, you you push into this room. Um, there are about maybe a sort of a, like a half dozen like fighters, uh, you know, kind mm-hmm. of in very various stages of preparedness. Some of them are just kind of sitting around lounging. Some of them are kind of like warming up. One of them is kind of like skipping in the middle. You surmise this is probably the the, the fighter who's like going on next. Over in the corner, um, you you spot the enormous familiar form of uh, Cross Colburn leaning against a wall and he's kind of like uh, speaking in, in hushed tones to um, to one of the fighters over there in the corner. Alright. That's Cross Colburn. Should we go and introduce tell. ourselves or? Yeah. Alright, let's okay. do that. Let's see what happens when you offer him a gigantic <laughs> bed. Mr. Colburn, I presume? I hold oh, out my dainty hand for a handshake. Uh, he um, uh, He <laughs> looks at your hand, does not shake it, looks you up and down, catches sight of you, Zilla, and goes, Zilla! <laughs> How incredible Russ. to see you. Your voice Welcome. is making my insides vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't expect to have the pleasure anytime soon. What a joy to see you again, Zilla. Thank you. Well, it's very hard to stay away. You know, I love this I love this scene, even if I'm not I'm not part of it anymore. I, I'll, I'll never stop, never stop being a fan. You're here to fight. No, no, You no, won't have an no. easy time of it. No, no, no. <laughs> My no. roster are the strongest. Oh, The toughest. Yeah. Yes. The brawniest. <laughs> uh, the, the fighters in this, they're all kind of like, everyone in the room is cheering and, and like some of them are shouting like, oh, fight you, Zilla, fight me. It would be an honor, madam. Wow, wow. They really uh, like you around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite... <laughs> It's uh, quite inconvenient, actually, how high profile. <laughs> Turns out I am here. Well, I'd like to introduce you first, Mr. Colburn, to my friend. Hello. He is, Pleasure likewise, an enormous fan of Love yours, it. your roster, the scene. He's just just getting involved now, and he does. Uh, then punching. why have I never seen you the before? Yeah. Mm, yes, well, new here, but um, I understand there's a... A lively betting scene surrounding this, yeah. Mm. And I was just, I 
fancy talking to the proprietor a little, you know, uh, see, see what kind of operation you're running here before I before I place my bets. We would be honoured to receive your bets. You've you must have coat. seen outside. Mm. There is a place for you to place those bets. Yes, very looked very secure. Is that is that the case? Why do you ask? Well, you know, I just want to make sure my money's you know safe when it when it's returned to me. I don't want anyone you know running. If off it's it. returned to you. Mr. Well, Fortescue, all bets are final. Yes, yes, but uh, Zilla's, you know, offering me a few tips and things, a little bit of insider knowledge, you know. Also, he has a lot of money. I don't know if he said, but he has a lot of money and probably more than you'd like just, you know, sitting around with uh, with the normal cash. A know? special wager. How much That's... are we talking? Mm, well, that really depends. I'd, I'd really like to look at the facilities first because, you know, I, although obviously all bets are final and it's a game of somewhat chance, um, I really I really do want to be absolutely sure that we're, we're playing this with a straight bat. I'll offer you a deal. Go on. I'll let you place your bet. And I'll even show you where the bets are taken. Yes. It's rather if important. If Zilla fights... Oh, okay. Well, that's... Uh, knew it. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I don't say that. Um, well, well, for old time's sake, what the hell? Flashback. Media flashback. <laughs> cool. Six months right. of pumping iron. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> flashback to five years ago. I'm training in a wood. Um, no, flashback to a little part of my brain thought that maybe, maybe, maybe I might end up in the ring. Or... Someone else might end up in the ring in a way where it would be useful to have some sort of rigged distraction. So I think we rig a distraction, something so cacophonous that uh, during that bout, during that distraction, someone else might have the opportunity to snatch some cash. Hmm. So uh, I don't, quick, help me. I don't know what, what the distraction would be though. Um, we, I imagine we came in. We came in during the day, or like during the night. The night before, I can't remember how much time we had beforehand. But like during a quiet spell, mm. so we could rig something up around the ring. We certainly will have ar uh, arrived a few hours early, but um, to case the joint. Yeah. Mm. So would something outside work as well, or would that distract? Maybe. Attention? Maybe. Maybe. Like a signal. You could just start a fire. <laughs> if you start a fire in this club no. it's a have you seen the fire escapes have you yeah, seen it's the a death fire trap. it's a death it's trap it's a death <laughs> trap i would not want to do but maybe that. outside or not I to don't these know. people yeah uh also um every single one of the audacious crimes that your gang yeah. has attempted has involved yeah. setting sort of fire burning. to it yeah, yeah um, i don't want to get us a reputation for being the gang that like accidentally starts fires yeah okay you might get a cool nickname <laughs> The fire starters. Sorry. No, no, you'll get an uncool nickname. Ah, that's the that's okay. the trade off if we go fire. Let me throw something in here, Zilla. Um, you remember that um, although everything that's happening here is mm. ostensibly nice and legal, nobody enjoys um, the scrutiny of the blue coats, who are themselves incredibly corrupt. Right, right, right. On the assumption that there is going to be a really spectacular bout. That will be received with wild, rapturous applause and cheering and and the rest. What if we arrange a signal so that during that cacophony, that chaos, someone thinks a bust is about to go down. Someone thinks the blue coats are about to descend. Everyone starts scrambling for the exits. We get the money in the, in the scrum. Yep. Do you know what would be okay. most spectacular? It would be if you made your triumphant return to the ring and uh, and and won. I think the crowd would go absolutely ballistic. There'd probably be a riot here. Okay, okay. Um, if we wanted to guarantee that, we could throw the fight. Or pay someone to throw the fight, I should say. I don't need anyone to throw the fight. If I'm... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm wildly insulted. Just suggesting you might be a little out of practice. But... Well, yes, there is that, there is that. But it's no, it's it goes against everything I stand for or stood for. Sure. <laughs> to cheat in the ring, in the the sacred cage, in the octagon of whatever destiny. So, Fine, you and your uh, morals. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what if uh, do we have anyone that we can call on to? Um, what about Daphne? Daphne could start yelling about uh, 
blue coats. We're, we're, yeah, yep. yeah, we're rumbled. Yep. Here come the fuzz. Yep. Cheese it, etc. Absolutely. Okay, Daphne. Daphne's our friend in the crowd. Cool. Cool. And you've um, cool. and you've arranged a signal for Daphne to start, you know, shouting about, oh no, a raid, the blue coats are coming. Uh, yes. And what is the signal? Uh, the signal is, um, uh, it's good to be back, which is what I will scream mm -hmm. Great. when I knock out cold, whoever it is. <laughs> Then I'm going to knock out Coles. Tremendous. Uh, all right. That sounds amazing. That actually, um, for all the planning, sounds like a really, really quite straightforward piece of actual action. So no rolling, zero stress. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Nice work. End flashback. Cross Colburn um, is, is there. And he says, Mr. Fortescue, you will place your bet. Marvellous. And then he turns to his fighters and says, And my warriors! Tonight, Zillow will fight!